everyone welcome to Karen's Corner and to another creative Wednesday so today I want to make an art journal page and for my art journals I like to use the uh, paper chase photo albums and um, they're really nice thick pages and I love working on them so uh, yeah I made some pages in here I'm gonna show you one day so I'm not gonna show you any further that's gonna be a whole different video and uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to make. I'm just sure what kind of background I want to make. And that was inspired by Frida Nichols. I saw a video of her a few days ago and I like the backgrounds. And for the backgrounds I'm going to use Paper Arts acrylic paint. But you can use all kinds of acrylic paint. Um, either the cheap ones, it doesn't matter. Uh, but I like these colors, I've got these. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm, oh, that's what you get when they haven't been used for a while. I'm just gonna <laughs> put some over here. I should clean that, but well. And a little bit over here. Okay. These are blobs instead of nice stripes, but. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put some white next to it. Some over here, some over here, over here over there and there so now i've got an old plastic card a credit card or a gift card and what i'm gonna do is just swipe over my page and just watch out that you don't go too near the edges because you get a whole blob of paint that can run over it and your pages will stick together and i want to leave some spots white because that's the fun part you will see later on so I think this is okay and you can also use um, a spatula like this this looks a bit like a fork and just make little scratches in there I kind of like that and now you have to let it dry or use a heat tool here we go So I just tried it with my heat tool and it took a while because um, well, I've got lots of paint on there. I don't know if you can see it, but these are really deep grooves and they're not really completely dry, but dry enough. Now what I'm gonna do is draw a line. Um, how do you say that? On the edge <laughs> of, uh, of my paint and that's why I left uh, the borders white. Because now I can draw a line. background I've done uh, myself uh, often enough but what uh, Frida Nichols did and what I like so much is he just put stripes on the edge and that makes it really look different well you can't see it now <laughs> now because I just started but wait till it's finished great guys why these middle parts are white is because you can do the same over here just do this and make little stripes in there and look how great that looks and it's so nice to do too um, I'm gonna do this the other way I was making this background I thought what shall I put on it and for some reason and it you wouldn't think of it I thought of a cat maybe this one this looks like the cat from Alice in Wonderland I can't pronounce that because I'm Dutch Cheshire cat or something like that don't laugh at me uh, <laughs> anyways the cat from Alice in Wonderland looks that's a bit like its smile so I want to make a cat on here but I never drew a cat so I'm gonna do that on a different piece of paper uh, that if it goes wrong I can throw it away and try again. Okay so as you can see I tried out some different types of cats and I think I like this one the best. So I'm gonna try and draw one over here. I have no idea I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start. I'm gonna make a head which is not round 
on my ears and um, big eyes <laughs> um, little nose well I don't know if you can see that or if it's too light but anyways um, I'm gonna make a triangle for a body because I have no idea how to do it otherwise and a pointy tail and then <laughs> um, something like this well that looks a bit cat like don't you think good enough for me so I'm gonna paint her so here are my colors I've got brown and orange and pumpkin soup this one looks like mustard I don't know what to use yet but I'm gonna start with white and a brush would be nice um, I have no idea I'm not really good with paint I just have a cheap brush and I'm gonna make this white because that's cute I'm gonna go over it with a uh, um, black pen so I'm just gonna make this a bit white just enough so you can see what's under there <laughs> because um, then I know what to do and suddenly a bowl of water appeared <laughs> now I'm going to use light orange this is butternut and see if I can give her some color oh that's nice It's okay if I go outside the lines because I'm con gonna cut it out anyways. So, a bit over here. And like I said, I've never done this before, but it's gonna look really archy when it's finished, I hope. Keep your fingers crossed because it can also look awful. But at least I tried. guys I think I've ruined it enough that's my cat okay so I really dried it and it really doesn't look like anything yet so keep your fingers crossed here I go try to make a real cat out of it Not cute. She's gonna get whiskers, but I'm gonna draw them when I put her on the page because uh, maybe I'm gonna draw them off her face. I'm not sure yet. So look at her. Isn't she gorgeous? Let me get some scissors and I'll cut her out. So here I go. Look at my cat, isn't it beautiful? 
so I think I'm gonna use some of the leftover paint and just I don't know do this <laughs> to let the color uh, repeat on the page Not really good at drawing and I really am not but uh, this kind of turned out nice so you can see anyone can draw now my writing is a completely different story um, my writing is really bad uh, some years ago somebody asked me if I knew shorthand uh, I said no that's my handwriting so there you have it my handwriting but I'm just I'm just gonna do it I'm gonna say uh, famous I don't know how to write famous, is that with an O and a U? <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna have to look it up. <laughs> yep, turns out I'm right. It's famous with an O and a U. <laughs> well, famous cat. Quote. Why do I know how to write quote and not how to write famous? So this is gonna be really fat letters otherwise you can't read it um, now I need a magazine because I want to cut the letters out and the putty cat is gonna go over here oh. so what is the famous cat quote well I've got some glue and seal and I'm gonna glue it on here Uh -huh, the famous quet quet cat quote is M E O W Meow. That's the famous cat quote. So I really like that. So now I'm gonna put my kitty cat on here too. I'm just looking at my markers and, um, well, I'm just gonna take some orange. some dots over there and some dots over here I wrote Mr. Cat on here I'm just gonna cut it out Mr. Cat okay <laughs> upside down that would be just something for me to put it upside down I've got these beautiful stickers and uh, I just love these and look at this color you know what I'm just gonna pick it off and put it over here because why not look how gorgeous I like a bit of bling in my pages <laughs> and nice and this stuff sticks really well I can't get it off now if I wanted to Now for the whisker, see if it's dry. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. These ones aren't really, I wanted them a bit over there, but 
Okay, this is it's good. Um, now I think I like the page. I think it's a bit busy, but I think I can. Uh, I know what I want to do. I think I'm gonna make these lines around the edge a bit bolder, a bit. Is that I say that? Darker, bigger. So I'm gonna go around again to make it stand out a bit more. Look at my page guys! I had no idea what I was gonna do. I just knew I liked the lines in the background again by Frida Nichols. It makes a really, really nice border. And look at my cute kitty cat. Come on, who says I can't draw? She's so adorable. <laughs> and uh, lots of bling bling. And of course the famous cat quote, meow, by Mr. Cat. And one more thing that's gonna annoy me if I'm not gonna make it right. It's this little line over here. I know, silly. But there you have it. This is really a very simple art journal page because this is really just uh, putting some paint on there and then making this border and drawing a crazy animal, putting some bling bling on there because I like it. And um, yeah, well, that's about it. Uh, I'm really, really satisfied with this page. I really like it. So I hope you like it too and I hope you're inspired to do something like this. Just go for it because when I started to make this, be honest, you thought, what's that gonna be? Because that's what I thought. And now look at it. It's so cute. Uh, I say cute a lot because I have Dutch Kitty Fan <laughs> YouTube channel and it's all about Hello Kitty and everything is adorable and cute. So sorry that's in my vocabulary now. I say cute and adorable. A lot. Anyways, this is very cute and I hope you like it and uh, if you did give it a big thumbs up and if you want to see more of my Creative Wednesday videos and my other videos about stuff that I do um, Well, just subscribe to my channel and see you next time Which is from Holland. Bye